Building materials are really starting to come alive. We humans are natural builders. Take a look at some of the amazing things we've constructed over our history, like the Sphinx or beautiful opera houses or skyscrapers that are designed to last long after we're gone. In fact, we've talked about innovations in architecture in previous episodes, but today I really wanna focus on the future of building materials. Let's take a look at concrete. It's a common building material and an amazing technological achievement, but it also comes with some pretty hefty costs. Concrete is made by mixing crushed rock, cement, and water together. And cement is an energy resource hog. In fact, the US Energy Information Administration said back in 2012 that cement manufacturing consumed more energy than any other single manufacturing industry in the United States. Bricks and cement have enormous carbon footprints because there's a long heating and firing process involved. It almost makes you wish you could just grow bricks right out of the ground. Well, we're way ahead of you, Slick. Take a look at a coral reef. What do you see? These magnificent structures are made up of mineral deposits of calcium carbonate. It was actually created by millions of tiny organisms, the coral itself. Ginger Dozier, who created a company called Biomason, actually credits coral as the inspiration for her approach to make bricks at ambient temperatures. Under certain chemical conditions, the bacterium Sporosarcina pasturii can actually make calcium carbonate, that same stuff you find in coral reefs. Now, what you do is inject this bacteria into a brick mold containing some sort of aggregate, like sand. It binds the aggregate together, and within about five days, you end up with a hardened brick. Potentially the coolest factor in this is that you could build the bricks at the construction site. You would just need your molds, some sort of aggregate made out of local material, and the bacterial soup. Technologies like this could have fantastic applications here on Earth, primarily in the area of energy conservation. But we can even look beyond that. Let's go to my favorite home away from home, the red planet, Mars. Now, if we want to build habitats on Mars, we're gonna need some construction materials, and I hate to break it to you, but bricks are hard to come by. What if instead you brought along a colony of bacteria? It would be practically weightless to begin with. You add that into molds with Martian soil, and before long, Mars bricks. And I'm not just talking pie in the sky here. NASA researchers are actually looking into this. In fact, they've explored ways to use bacteria and other microorganisms to create everything from food to antifreeze to building materials. But using bacteria to make bricks isn't the only way we could harness the chemistry lab of nature to help us along. What about fungus bricks? A New York architecture firm called The Living built a 40-foot tall tower out of about 10,000 bricks made from discarded corn stalks and mycelium. Mycelium is fungus fiber. So they built a tower of mushroom bricks. Now, granted, you're probably not gonna build a skyscraper with these things, but they are an interesting, healthy, biodegradable alternative to the bricks we know and love so dearly. It does lead me to a question for you guys. How do you think we should best harness biogenic material to better our lives? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring this show and making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, do me a favor and hit that little like button. And then, hey, 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 help us Build the Forward Thinking Think Tank by subscribing to the channel. After all that, reward yourself. You worked hard. Check out these other videos over here.